With 2017's convertible winner, Mercedes-Benz C-Class, unable to join us in 2018 because an updated model was still on the boat, we tackled the category with three fresh contenders, none of which were anything like each other. The Mazda MX-5 lobbed with a newly minted 2.0-litre engine tune, finally giving the world's favourite roadster the knackers and the rev ceiling its sparkling chassis deserves. The same could potentially be said about the Porsche 718 Boxster GDS, though Stuttgart's mid-engine two-seater was already quick in base model guys. In GDS spec, the Boxster is a veritable supercar with eye-widening pace and butt-clenching handling ability. On a completely different plane is Audi's suave A5 2.0-litre TFSI Quattro Cabriolet. Essentially an A5 coupe with a lid removed, this four-seat cruiser appears to be dripping in compromise on paper. But could the Audi's comfort and refinement act as a tonic to the manic preaching of the more hardcore MX-5 and Boxster? Since the Boxster went flat for in 2016, there's now a clear delineation between this entry-level Porsche sports car and its iconic 911 flat six big brother. But referring to the Boxster as anything but special is completely misleading, especially this GDS version. Riding on 20 inch wheels and with the wick turned up on its turbocharged Boxster engine, this drop-top superstar can reach 100 kilometers an hour in just 4.1 seconds, which boggles your mind when you think about it. Backed by a wailing engine and exhaust soundtrack and a genuine on-rails handling experience, the Boxster GDS raises the benchmark for what a roadster can do. But that wasn't enough to lift the Porsche's scorecard beyond nine points and third place. Looks can be deceiving with the Audi A5 Cabriolet because there's an airhead perception about this elegant wind-in-the-hair machine. Yet it only takes moments seated in the A5's sumptuous interior, admiring its beautifully finished dashboard and relishing its punchy turbo four drivetrain with all wheel drive to realize this thing can move. In fact, we'd go out on a limb to state that the A5 2 litre TFSI Quattro Cabriolet is one of Audi's finest A4, A5 variants. Well, the A5 convertible was a surprising sweetie. It's really lovely to drive in all facets. It has a really nice drivetrain and for cruising with your friends, it's the best option here. Comfortable and cosseting, yet also surprisingly rapid and amazingly poised. It's the A5 ragtop's handling savvy and raspy performance that proved this beauty ain't no bimbo. Indeed, with 15 votes from our Ducati judges, the A5 was just three shy of snatching a win. Proving that 2018's finest convertible is indeed greater than the sum of its parts, the Mazda MX-5 GT 2.0-litre demonstrated the sporting world can be egalitarian. For a little over 40 grand, the MX-5's purity, individuality and sheer likability ensured it would walk away with the title of Best Convertible 2018. Ever since I saw the first MX-5 back in, I think, 1989, I have had the hots for one of these things. Every time Mazda brings out a new one, it's improved. So is this one my love affair just begins all over again. For 2018, the MX-5 is more of the same, but there's so many clever things about this interior. I love the way the speakers are built into the headrests. I love the way these little cup holders here can move around and clip in over here. The uh, doors are nice and thin, so you can sit next to them and sink into these seats that are all netted. And lo and behold, you finally have reach adjustable steering. So you're no longer sitting here with your pedals bunched up, trying to hold this beautiful retro 70s steering wheel. I'm not particularly in love with the color combination in this interior because red and brown make you frown. But I think that this car encapsulates everything that was great about roadsters in the 60s and 70s and makes it completely relevant and even fairly high tech for 2018. Every tiny detail matters in this Graham Strategy Mazda, yet it is not a heavy car and never feels weak or floppy. It's also a fine proponent of supple suspension and useful body roll contributing to the greater good. With its outside rear wheel doing the talking balance wise, the MX-5 is one of the most chuckable cars around. If only it had an ESC sport mode to more safely explore its envelope of oversteer. Yet we knew all of those things when we first drove the ND MX-5 back in 2015. This time, however, 
we have a 2-litre engine that truly suits the whole MX-5 experience. With 17 kilowatts more power and another 800 revs at the top end, this is what we're talking about. Definitely a worthy winner and a fine bookend to Mazda's greatest ever MX-5.